I'm not sure if you encounter this problem, but for example, I have two screens, but I just like working on one, the bigger one at the moment. And I want to be able to have a dialogue window that I can have here, you know, copy stuff and paste over here. But what happens is if you have a big window, especially your browser in the background and this little application popped up, it could be any application. When I click on the back window, that disappears. It goes actually to the back. Then I've got to come down to the menu, click here to bring it back. So I want to be able to pin this above here. And how do I get to do that? I've got an application installed. If I look here by the icons, you'll see it says desk pins and I'll show you where you can get it. But if I click left mouse button, click here, you're going to see it puts it over this particular document. If I click on the document, you'll see the pin comes in there. Now, if I go and I work in the background, this will constantly be up front all the time until I click this X button and it will remove it. Now, there are other shortcut keys that are part of the application. You can go configure them. Uh, maybe I should just show it to you so that you know how to do that. Um, or maybe I should show you first before I do that. Just add a second window. So maybe I'm going to go to, and it can be any application, but I'm going to just open a second notepad. Uh, where do we have that? Okay, so this is a second notepad. So if I was working here, let's say, hello, the future, I would do the same here. I would come and go there, click left mouse button, click in here. Now we have both of these. So if I work on this back document now, these two will be pinned right on top. However, if I'm sitting with two or three of these documents open, I might be, you know, having them functioning something like this. Maybe let me just bring this for making it a bit more tidy. Um, so if I'm functioning with these two, for example, and there's something that they're covering and I just want to, you know, take them away. I don't want to go and remove the clips and push them to the back. There are shortcut keys for that. So how do we access that? Um, if you go to hidden icons, instead of left mouse button clicking here, you go right mouse and then you'll see uh, it says remove all pins and enter the pin mode. Enter the pin mode is similar to just clicking on the icon, then you have the pin that you manually click in. Remove all pins, it will automatically take it off all the blocks, all the applications that have the pin. In this case, you don't want to remove it, you just want to temporarily push it to the back and when you're done with it, bring it forward. For that, you go to options to see what's going there. Now this has a, a few parameters like how the pin color can be, whether when you initiate it, yeah, you give a single or double click. You can go fiddle around with that. For me, I think what is of reference here yeah, and relevance is the hotkeys. If it's enabled, um, then you have these functionalities where you can put the shortcut key. Uh, mine was enabled by default. Um, but if yours is not enabled, you just click there. What this is doing is saying that if you want to get into the pin mode, similar to clicking on this icon here, similar to right clicking and entering pin mode, you can do that by just pressing control and F11 key. You can also toggle the active windows where they have pins. What that means is to toggle it to the back and to the front. So if you have two windows or three or four that's got pins on them and you want to move them all to the back at one go, you can just go control F12 and when you're done with what you want to do and you want to bring them back to the front of this document, you go control F12 again. Okay, let me show you how that works. So if I am here now, I'm busy working, but I can't see what's going on here behind. I go control F12, takes it away. I see, okay, this is what's happening. I'm happy with it, but I want to bring those windows back, control F12 again. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many windows have the pin in, Control F12 will push them to the back so it will toggle it back and forward. And I think this is a really brilliant tool if you're needing to work um, with particular stuff. There are methods, uh, which is for another tutorial video, where you can copy into your clipboard and make multiple copies of it. But we're not only talking about copies, we're talking, for example, let me just do the Telegram also. Say I was working, uh, let me take this, I was working with Telegram and I wanted it to also be somewhere, let's say over there. Then I can go, 
Remember I said control F11 is for the pin. And there it appears. If I click in here, you'll see it tags over there. So if I'm working with this now, this is Telegram. It's an application. This is the Notepad application. So if I go control F12, they're all going to go to the back. Hopefully. What did I do? Oh, I think here, here is where the issue is. If you are selecting one of these areas, so if I'm selecting this one, it's going to make a different application. So I want all of them so I, I can just click off. So I'm not specifically selecting any of them. I go Control F12. They all go away. I do what I want to F12, Control F12 again, and they bring them back. Okay, but most of the time, with just one window or so, you're going to be using the click button there and utilizing it like that. Okay. Okay, I promised to share with you how to get hold of it. You can just go to a browser anywhere and just say desk pins or desk pin. And you'll have this come up here. I prefer going to Softonic. Um, these other ones have it here, but you know, they have some other things and menus and adverts that pop up. So for me, I've just always used desk pins. Uh, if you go, not desk pins, Softonic, sorry. So if you go in there, you can download it and install it. Um, and once you install it, it's part of your little icons that will come up here. It will put it, it will boot up. If it gives you the request to boot up, you put it on, it's a very small program. But if you don't have it there, you can always look at your, your menu. You can go in and maybe what we search for, desk pins. So I'm gonna just click here and go to D, see if it exists here. There we go, desk pins, so you'll probably go here. And what I would do is, if you go and right click on here, you can decide to put it on your start menu, you can decide to put it on your taskbar. I prefer putting it on my taskbar over here if I don't have it as part of these icons. But in your installation, it will ask you whether you want to put it in when it boots up. And I, I think it's, it's not very heavy on your system to do that, it's a very tiny program. But it's really empowering, really cool application. So be blessed. Hope your journey in working with multiple screens is much easier. Have a blessed day and shalom to everybody.